Uh, I won't waste any more time talking about things. I just want to truly thank you for not only coming tonight, but also participating uh, on YouTube. Um, it's your content that really makes our site special. So thanks a lot. This is content that we've seen at film festivals, where we've reached out to filmmakers afterwards. Um, things that have been suggested to us through filmmaker word of mouth, and then you know people have sent us DVDs. Relationships with some of our partners, like the Sundance Channel, National Film Board of Canada, Walfin, short film aggregators, um, and that's really been the bulk of it getting launched. Now going forward, there will be an email that filmmakers can send information about their films to, and then we'll be in communication. And then shortly after that, there will be like an online application form so that we can really get detailed information about people's films and then and go from there. The way that this is presented to me, I, I just, it, it looks like a really good thing to me. I mean, I think, I think, uh, I mean, I use, I use YouTube all the time for, uh, for research. I'm just constantly in there looking for films, uh, old and new. It's not always that easy to find things. So I think it's really great to have a place where it's kind of consolidated, a site where you just go and you know that this is all you're going to find. Unless you're someone who travels on the short film and animation festival circuit, it's really, really hard to see these films. I mean, if you, if you miss the festival circuit, then you're not going to see them, uh, unless you manage to track down the filmmaker and have them send you a copy or something like that, which, which is a shame, you know, I, I think it's a wonderful forum for it. This film won the Los Angeles Film Festival last year and she saw it at the festival and she sent a mail, are you interested in um, putting up your film on YouTube and since it's, uh, it's a big film, Cinemascope, I made it for cinema, my first reaction was it's too small but then they presented this uh, high quality idea that you can actually get better quality because uh, when you use the ratio we have, it's a lot of black up and down, it's letterbox, but now you can actually see the film. So um, me and the producer Thomas was very positive to uh, participate in this when they presented the high quality option. I think this is great because they're allowing the film to be played at a higher quality and it shows in the player and it's also going to reach a lot more people than it was Previously, and you know, as a filmmaker, you just want your work to be seen by as many people as possible. So, it's it's yet another cool way to get it out there. The film was never online before the Oscars. It started with uh, doing the film festival circuit, and some of the films that win, you know, a best of award at a certain qualifying festival will move on, and that's how mine moved down the line. You know. So I think that this is just an incredible opportunity for filmmakers to reach audiences all over the globe. I think traditionally films, primarily shorts, have played at film festivals, which is an amazing experience for a filmmaker to see their film in a theater. But when the film festival circuit ends, it's been seen by a, maybe a couple thousand people. And that's really it, unless it gets picked up for distribution, which is, you know, it's limited to a very small percentage of films. So I think this is just an amazing way for filmmakers to find audiences that they would never have found in the offline space. Do you, do you foresee this growing the short film industry? I do, absolutely. I think more? that we've already seen that. What do you think are the key components for a successful online short film? Such a hard question. I really don't think there's a great answer to that. Um, you know, I think that for a long time people were really focused on funny, short, that translated to viral. I think that's definitely changed. You know, there's feature films on YouTube that are over 70 minutes um, that have been seen over a million times. So I really think like if it's a great piece of content, if it's a great story, I don't really think it matters if it's short or long, funny or sad, black and white or color. I really think it's about like the story and the content.